GRC Pick of the Week. This week we have Lady Luck, Bally Midway. Um, she was designed by, I can never say his name right, Greg Freres. It was not designed by Greg Freres. He did the, oh, art. the artwork. He did the artwork. My apologies, the artwork. Else. He also did, was it Dr. Dude uh, and the Strange Science that we also have in our showroom. This was a rescue. This could very well have just ended up in the dumpster, but thankfully Mike rescued it, cleaned it up, and now it looks really nice. Um, Mike, what did you do with it? Anyway, boards for Lady Luck. Uh, okay. Repaired to burn up Q11 with a yeah. that transit. Their resistor was open, by the way. Okay, well we knew that, right? Yeah. Kind of going in. And um, I would have done a... Uh, a zero power ram, but I didn't have any good new ones. All them ones I had getting were really old. You didn't feel like it. You didn't well, have I, it. I took them apart. They were all dead. Yeah. Okay. They only last for 10 years or so. So I put uh, these batteries are still available from Pinball Resource. Okay. Um, what are they? Just put a sticker on. It's, it's a NICAD. Oh, it's, as it goes. It's on. an OEM replacement. Yeah. Okay. So it lasts don't. For another so, 10 years. so don't leave it alone for 15 years. Yeah. All right. Um. And then the sound card, the usual, you know, um, new sound pot, 1K sound pot. Okay, we knew there was an um, issue there. All the caps have been done, and uh, this little C10 goes bad on these cheap squeaks. Remember the one that burned up on Black Pyramid? Yes, fire. There was a defective batch of these, because I talked to Jim, and he said he's ran into a few. JT? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, you replace that with... Does he watch our show? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. And lastly, this. This took the longest. <laughs> this had these, well, one, uh, these had these um, 193 uh, block type uh, connector housings. Okay. And them things are really hard to deal with. You've got to have a solder socket to take all the solder off. Okay. Well, you've got to change it to the big tip. Set that down somewhere where I can, where I can hold it still. Very hard. You don't want to do it with solder braid because you'll you'll waste 50 bucks worth. You need a solder sucker with the large tip to do this. Okay, nice. Then you clean it with alcohol when you're done, and then. The so first, the problem there was a cold solder oh, joint. Oh, there was five or six cold solder okay, joints. Okay, yeah, yeah, more yeah. More that were obvious. All right. And then of course caps for your high voltage displays, and a cap for your fibro logic, um, and a, a bridge for the uh, 43s. Mm -hmm. And then I put a uh, new resistor here, not that it was devalued, but because the idiots that built it put, put it, it on tight against the to board, the board and, and of course and that's, burn, starts uh, to burn through the board. Yeah, and I don't want that, so yeah, I, okay. I updated that. So this is uh, done. Nice. That's about it for okay. refreshing and making that reliable where it's going to go. All right, well, overall the boards were in yeah. pretty good condition, right? Yeah, you washed them. Um, yeah, they were. Um, yep. Yeah. So this is this is we're loving on this lady luck for some reason, Ray. I don't know why. I was. I don't know either. What did I? Oh my! I, <sighs> I don't know. Just, let me know when we're upside down on it. I got it for almost nothing. Okay. Um, but we're <laughs> we're headed. I don't to really <laughs> want to count on it. It's just a pin from here. You know. Yeah, it's upside down when you start on it. Right? Yeah. Uh, Uh, I don't think anybody took credit for the music. But somebody wrote that little jingle. Um, Megan, who watches our YouTube shows, uh, asked what was the attract mode in one of the whatever Ray, Ray files it was. Because oh, uh -huh. she, she heard it in the background and didn't know what it was. She thought it was a video game. Oh. Um, and uh, it very well may be. Because <laughs> um, they were reusing old, nobody. Yeah. It could have been, for they, sure. Somebody programmed that ditty, um, but who knows when, and they yeah. didn't really take credit for it. Captain Kirk uh, called me. It was a call from Captain Kirk. Call from Captain Kirk. I swear to God, I can't make that up. Really? Yes, Captain Kirk uh, runs around <laughs> and 
and uh, goes to like low end auctions and grabs them and, and like estate sales and okay. whatever you know he's a kind of a picker at low end auctions and he found this one and he um, got talked into buying this and then didn't know what to do with it because it so was so he gave it to you because it was pretty sad so I took it off his hands for, right. for a reasonable price and, and you did clean it up there it was junk it really was. You fixed the, the coin door. That was really pretty nasty. It was nasty. Fixed the back glass. No, I didn't fix the back glass. What did you do? To, you did something with this. Um, LEDs. Oh, LEDs. Sorry. Yep. Um, the displays are new. Mm-hmm. Pin scores. Um, clean, clean, clean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks nice. New drop targets. For what it is. Yep. Very nice. Super bands. Yeah. So, for those of you that don't know Lady Luck, and I didn't really know her either till probably a couple weeks ago, um, it's an interesting game for an old game. There's lots of strategy in it, so depending on the player, it all really depends on what you try to go for first to get most points. Uh, there isn't really a skill shot other than rolling over the lit lanes. Um, the poker, it spells out poker, P-O-K, is your first three up top. And then another strange thing, you also have the ER down below. And only your right flipper can change those. Um, you also have your three twos, which can come in handy if you hit all of those. It opens your gate, which can save you if you're about to die. Ball save gate. Yeah. Ball save, very good to know. Um, you also have your two stars here, which advances, what does that do? Help me out. Um, your two stars. Uh, they we'll do put, lots. They, yeah, they put you into a countdown. Yes, down uh, here with your uh, uh, 10x. A uh, hurry up, uh, which if targets are up, uh, it will give you two targets at a time. Yep, so um, that you're kind of like. Uh, or two, two credits for collecting. Cards. Yes, collecting Because generally what they say um, is that your goal is going to be to light all of your cards up well, so but you, here's the thing Mel. yeah the cards are your bonus mm -hmm. um so if so what if your bonus multipliers at 5x if you if don't you have, have any points if you have no cards exactly then it's squat um, and the other way around if you collect you know the whole card but your bonus pliers did that one yeah. you still don't collect it's it. not that much so that's what we're talking about with the strategy you know you could um, hit the advanced spinner value, that's your locked ball here, and then shoot in this right ramp lane. It's called a captive ball. Captive ball, my apologies. And your spinner. Spinner value. Um, that will increase, and that's a good way to rack up your points as you're trying to light these cards up. Um, also, I'm missing something. Okay, well, we, 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 we fell short on these stars. Yes, the um, stars because, down here, because the timers. If all of, because if all of the targets are down, mm -hmm. it Jesus. starts a 10 times play field value hurry up. So you can hit a bunch of stuff so, and try and rack up points. So if quick. you've got an advanced spinner that's at 10,000 a spin, and you're at 10 times play field scoring. Yeah, that's and, a lot of points. Uh, and you spin that, you know, you get that thing to spin around 10 times, which if you hit it clean, it's going to go, it's tuned up. Yep. Uh, that'd be a million points. Yep. And Mel, you and me didn't come nowhere near We it. tried doing this it earlier cool. and it was horrible. I kicked Mike's ass first and then I just started sucking. I think I caught his bad playing book. Yes, I was playing like shit. It, it was pretty bad, so we're not sure how we're going to showcase all of this to you. It might take us a few days to really... Yeah, it's, <laughs> now listen, when, when I, when I, uh, when I want to kick its ass, I will. It's yeah, never been a we're problem. trying. We're it's, trying over here. It's never been a problem. But that's what means it's a good game. It's challenging enough that we want to keep trying to, to rack up the points. It's not an easy game where we can just play it willy-nilly and it's boring. You know, for an old game, it's really interactive. Here's the thing, Mel. It's not like really it. as old as it presents as being. What? It looks like what? 80s, mid 80s? Well, it's it's an 86. 86. Okay. But yeah, but keep in mind that Alien Poker over there is either five or six years older. Okay. Um, and and it's really? and it's talking at you. Yes. Yeah. Um, the Mars God of War over there is like 1980. Is five or six years older. And it has multi-ball and speech. Yeah, that's uh, true. I, I kind of like the strategy of it. Some of the shots are hard to get. It's kind of placed a little funky, which again just it makes it more of a challenge and also makes you sometimes want to kick it, but don't do that. When you go for the star, <laughs> like, like if you're trying to hit the stars. Yeah, those are a rough shot. That's a rough shot. It's almost like you have to bounce it off 
of these guys, the bumpers. <laughs> you would do that? <laughs> it's worked for me. It might have been an accident, but I'm yeah. like, okay, that's a strategy. Oh, no, no, no. No, you're right. Yes. You know? Uh, like, it, it, right. In, instead of instead using of the flippers, you use the Because sometimes a it's a little hard to get that. And that's you know? that, and that's, advan that's more advanced. That's not novice pinball. That's like intermediate is when you have control of the slingshots, too, and you get a feel for how they work. Mm -hmm. um, and you can control when them. when I first started playing, those just meant I was going to drain. Yeah. And that's, <laughs> I avoided them. <laughs> I still sort of avoid them. But yeah, I, I do enjoy Lady Luck. I think it's a fun game. What you did to it is amazing for what it looked like when I came in here, for sure. Thank you. It cleaned up nice. It did clean up very nice. I dig it. Anything else we got to say about it, or we're like, just going to start I like playing? the art. I like Greg Furries' artwork. It's okay. Uh, at least on the back. Listen, the back list, okay. it, and it, at a time when Bally was going out of business. True, that's another and, thing I didn't say, and, that this they were going out of business, and this was like, what, spare parts that they were just yeah. trying to do something well, with? Well, that's why it doesn't have multi-ball and speeches. Because right, they didn't really give a shit. Uh, they just trying to get out of it's there. It's running a cheap squeak, so they, you mm -hmm. know, back in, the, back in uh, the warehouse, they had a pile of... Uh, that Crap. that soundboard, yeah. you know, that soundboard, which was outdated. What to do with it? Um, uh, sell it. Something, uh, yeah. Listen, if you visited our eBay store, you, I've sell. You know, if it's around, sell it. That was so the Definitely guys Definitely check out the eBay store. We so got lots. listen, they they went down there and they said, Greg Ferris, hey, listen, do the artwork on this thing. Yeah. And it's uh, basic, and you know, side cabinet just says Bally Midway. Got a yeah, sta right standard there. cabinet. Whatever. Uh, at this point, they were just putting games in a standard cabinet to get rid of the parts that they had. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the result. It's a it's a low production game. They made 500 of them, uh, which probably nice. which probably ties into they. My guess would be they had 500 of these play fields sitting in the back that were sitting around for 15 years. Yeah, just uh, dust. And they said, hey, uh, if Greg Ferris, draw some artwork on those motherfuckers. And <laughs> wow, spitting at the language today. Okay. Well, uh, I mean, that's what happened. It's in '86. Uh, it's a going out of business piece, yeah. and you know that's that's what that's what was happening. Um, but based on that, it's kind of fun. It's better than El Dorado City of Gold, which was Gottlieb doing the same thing. They were you that know, was horrible. They were pulling the plugs. That was yeah. about about the same year, and it didn't have multi bore speech. It didn't even have like stuff like Lane. You know, this is a much better machine than that, actually. Um, it's more fun to play than. What's up with the nipples? They're like super pointy. I don't think they're very accurate. <laughs> Listen, different people have different style of nipples. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. I don't know about all that. You didn't even need to show those, though. I think that's a little vulgar. <laughs> Mike's dying over here in the corner. Sorry. Dig Stands it. that, I like the game. I think it's well done. I mean, the artwork's a little meh. But well, it's 80 style. So. And keep in mind, they were being cheap. Exactly. They you were, get what you pay for. The, the, he probably did the artwork for this thing, and God only knows a day, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. He bashed it out. Because um, keep in mind, same guy over there on the Dr. Dude, yep. how much time did he spend on the artwork on that thing? Oh, yeah. Dr. There's Dude's artwork been, everywhere. Oh, yeah. It's all much detailed stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, for sure. So if you guys haven't had a chance to play it, I would recommend it. Um, if you see it in an arcade or any other showroom, you might want to just look it over, but it's really more than what it seems. So. Well, the, the key here is to have the game. So that's strategy. It's all about the strategy. Beyond that is condition. Mm. Um, oh my gosh, if, yeah. You know, if, this if it thing, looks like a beat up piece of shit, it's going to play like a piece of shit, for sure. And that's, and that's across the board. Yeah, but, but we don't do that here. Uh, I'm critical. I'm, I'm, don't either, do that. I'm, all, I'm always critical of it, but I'm, I'm extra critical on a game like this where there isn't much else going on. If it doesn't, yeah. you know. So it has to be clean and like all the lights redone. Should Theater Magic had when it came in, it had a it had an upper lane switch that wasn't working that needed a micro switch. You could still play that game with with the mic. Now I right. couldn't, but the general person <laughs> wouldn't even notice and wouldn't right. even care. Where in this case, man, everything's got to work exactly right, or the game just falls on its face. Yeah. Um, that being it's said, it's kind of fun. It's it all is right. Fun. I enjoyed it. It, it. it reminds me of like Hot Tip, which didn't have much to offer, yeah. but, we, but, but it was still a fun game. Entertaining, for sure. Um, I'm glad we saved it. I, it's gonna somebody somebody will enjoy it. It's going to be an entry level piece and it priced is. appropriately. Uh, but you're right. I, I think it would be greater with uh, with a little bit of vocals. 
but you know it could get a little raunchy, a little cheesy, whatever you might want to put into it. But it's fine without it. It's a good standard. It's a game. Yeah. I dig. You wanna play? Sure. See what we can do here. Uh <laughs> what else do we gotta say? I, uh, I don't thank know. you for tuning in. We haven't oh, seen yeah. you know, we're not around much. Uh, GRC's featured pin of the whenever. The whenever. It's uh, true. We're busy over here. Mike's been fixing yeah. pins. If you've been following us on Facebook, you can see he's not doing nothing. He's working a lot. It's our eBay store. Our eBay store Please is visit our eBay store. Uh, if you're interested in the Lady Luck, which is a rare machine, they only made 500 of them, contact us. Uh, there should be a link in the description section to the eBay listing if it's not sold Check yet. Check it out. Subscribe. All uh, that good stuff. Records. We're going to be working yes, on. Yes, if you've been watching our page, we've been starting to do a record pick of the GRC record pick of the day. Um, I'm going to start picking them now, just so you can get a little bit of my input on them and why I picked them. They're also going to be for sale on our eBay store, so keep up with. I'm that. running them on seven-day auctions, starting at a dollar. Every record is a dollar, so which cheap. is so cheap. Uh, my intention is to have you review uh once a week because mm -hmm. you're not going to do it daily i'm still going to put them up daily because i've got three there's a th lot i still got three thousand records but i'm going to put my input in on uh, some of the better ones, so so once a, once a week it'll be more interesting than it is the rest of the time because yeah. people are have already figured out that it's not terribly interesting but maybe it is because uh i don't even know what any of that stuff is maybe we'll find something good we'll see it's possible <laughs> <laughs> Thank right, you, everybody. Well, thanks for tuning in. Oh. We'll see you soon. Bye now.
Want one spinner, please. video. If you haven't already subscribed, what are you waiting for? Want to know what's coming next? Go like us on Facebook right now. You can keep up to date with all of us here at the shop and what we've been up to. Thank you for watching. <laughs>